All right, so in 2012, I made a video about a small GPS jammer that I had that you could plug into an auxiliary or a cigarette lighter port in a car, and it would actually jam uh, the GPS signal um, to a GPS module, like a, you know, like a small tracker device or uh, any kind of like a GPS unit that you could use to navigate. Um, now, since that video has been on there, and I still get a lot of comments, and uh, that video still gets a lot of hits, this is why I'm making this video, um, because the main thing people always send me like messages on, I get private messages all the time, where people are like, hey, can I use this to jam uh, the signal of my work vehicle, and then uh, just use the vehicle as I please. And I'm like, oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, so let me break this down. Uh, because those modules are cheap. Those little cigarette lighter modules are cheap, cheap. Okay, there's several different reasons why this is a bad idea. First reason, <laughs> those uh, usually only jam like GMS signals and various other old signals. A lot of these tracking devices and GPS modules uh, for tracking vehicles uh, use a lot more than just those old those old technology so there's new stuff you know a lot of those things work 3g 2g to 5g you know so they can talk through the cell tower in a different way um, also some of those modules will even send a text <laughs> of the physical location of the vehicle uh, based on like other metrics so um, you will eventually get caught <laughs> another reason is because to truly know if it's being jammed you would have to have access to the software and the person that owns the vehicle is going to know because that vehicle is going to fall off the map and then all of a sudden when you come back you know into a certain location it's going to come back on the map when you yank that little uh, jammer out now those little jammers are uh, cheap so one thing is uh, a lot of times the auxiliary and cigarette lighter ports in cars don't stay on all the time <laughs> so even if they had an old module, tracking module, um, as soon as you turn the ignition off on the car, if that cigarette lighter or that auxiliary port turns off, then that GPS unit is going to immediately catch a connection and then send this information to your boss. <laughs> and you get fired. So, uh, yeah, those little devices, they don't really work that great. They're actually not really jammers as much as there are interference uh, modules is what I would, I would tell you. It's, it's more like a denial of service attack against the actual signal than it is actually jamming the signal. So they call them jammers but they're really technically not. If you actually do some research on them there they don't really jam <laughs> the signal. Um, another reason why it's not a good idea is because even if you bought a larger module that would like totally blank at a certain area, um, those things can get you hit hard. An FCC uh, fine for a jammer of any type, <laughs> especially cellular, uh, GPS, you know, Wi-Fi, any of those things. It's a $40,000 fine <laughs> if you get caught with one of those devices. Um, another thing is uh, that small little module, the little cigarette lighter module, uh, really doesn't have a, a very widespread for its jamming, uh, meaning that the radius in which it jams is not really that big. If the module, if the GPS tracking module, was in, say, the engine bay, and it was far away, like on the far end of the engine bay, that module being plugged into the dash, it's got to penetrate the dash, it's got to go through the firewall, it's got to go around everything else and then jam that signal. And because it only jams those signals, it might not be able to reach it. So, you know, for the most part, it's not a good idea to use something that cheap. Those things are like nothing. They really aren't really that great. The only way it would jam something like that is if A, it was old, like the actual tracking mechanism in the car was old, or B, uh, it was old and it was close <laughs> I mean really would have to just be old 
because those little modules suck. But yeah, so bad idea to begin with. Uh, the tracking modules, you know, the, the newer tracking modules are, are very advanced, and those little jammers are trash. So not a good idea. Don't get yourself fired. Don't do anything stupid. All right, well, you guys take it easy. Peace. Have a good one.